Uh, how you been? Uh, I've been doing fine. Good, how you good, been? Good. Seen on Twitter quite a bit. I, I'm up there on Twitter, uh, uh -huh. Facebook, and uh, and now I'm at the auto show as as you are. So sure. you brought a couple cars over here and parked them in the corner. Yeah. Now how do you decide? How many cars do you have in your garage out there in uh, Lion South Lion whatever? Yeah, it's uh, it's in Brighton basically. Brighton, okay. But yeah, it's uh, you know it's 250 cars totally in the collection. Mm -hmm. Um, we're able to keep about 190 in that facility you visited right, us right. at. And, uh, 190, and we're, we're not just talking like, it's not like this auto show. This is like the best of the best. Oh, thanks. The coolest of the cool and all that that you keep there at your place. It, it shakes out to about 30% muscle cars mm -hmm. and about 30% exotics, and the rest are Corvettes and some of my old race cars and such from back in the day. All right, so, so when, when you bring a couple cars over here, uh, and I'm talking about what you have, I know you've got one of your, your old vets over here. Yeah. an old vet, yeah. yeah. How do you decide what to bring over here when they say bring a couple cars? You know, I try to get the latest and the greatest. That that uh, Z06 is a brand new uh, right. a Corvette Z06, and it's got the latest up engine upgrades on it. It's making about 800 horsepower right now. Mm. As soon as this show's over, it goes back to the shop, and it'll make about 850. And <laughs> then we just keep testing and working. And so. Okay, but then you brought the old vet over here. So what yeah. was that? Yeah. Well, the Rob Report wanted us to have something, you know, that kind of was from back in the day, right. and that's a '67 427. It's Pretty cool. Very pretty. Now, for those who don't know what Lingenfeller uh, Auto is about, uh, you, you essentially take uh, General Motors vehicles right. and and beef them up, uh, soup them up. You know, we do. And the thing is that uh, we're mostly engine builders. Uh, we're drag racers and road racers also. But uh, customers either bring their brand new General Motors product to us and we either supercharge it or turbo it or something. Do something, trick it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, later on, day, some customers actually even have uh, their cars drop shipped to us. And uh, so right from the get-go, they want Lingenfelder power. Yeah, so before it even gets to them, the, the factory sends them to you, you fix them up and, right. and, and move them on. Right. Um, so let me ask you your opinions of this auto show. I, mean, I assume you've had a chance now to walk around at least a little bit? Just a little bit, but, you know, it's been fun watching it get better and better and yeah. better every year. You yeah, know, especially I, since, like, you know, 08, 09. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It yeah. was a little scary back in those days, but, you know, these days it's really looking good. And, uh, you know, I'm following it closely. A lot of the products that they're developing and showing off here are cars we're going to get to tune later on. So, you know, we got to stay right up to date with what's going on. Now, last year, and maybe year, the year before last and last year were really the year of the performance cars. I mean, That's they right. were bringing out things like the, the GT, uh, the Camaro, the Challenger. I mean, those were the featured cars of the last couple of years. Uh, this year, they've gotten away from the Lingenfelter kind of cars, and they're going to some luxury brands. Sure. Uh, uh, the big keyword is autonomous. Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking for the self-driving cars. I mean, right. wh where do you see yourself fitting into that world? Well, I don't see us fitting in there at all, to be honest with you. I mean, it's a personal getting around and everything else, maybe. But the fact is, we'll stay close to our roots in racing and, right. uh, and uh, autocross and things like that that people like to do. And enjoy themselves with. I hope that'll never go away. I can't see it going away. Yeah, because an autonomous car it won't race itself, I guess. No, no, I don't think so. But, uh, but you know, having said that, the new Camaro came out, and right. we got two real early Camaros, and within probably six hours of us getting it delivered, the, it was torn down, and it got a supercharger put on it, and so now we can walk around and say we're the first ones to supercharge the new Camaro. So, very, very nice. Yep. Uh, so also just looking around, what, what has caught your attention outside of the world that you're, you're accustomed to over here? Well, you know, to be honest with you, cars are so good these days. I mean, they are just so good. We're getting so spoiled. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of the old cars in the collection, and I love to look at them. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older at this point, but uh, when it comes to driving one for any real long distance, I'm spoiled just like everybody else. You get in, you've got all the assists and all the great wills, whistles and bells, and uh, I like that too. So. Now, you're also a guy, I mean, your collection has a lot of classic automobiles in it, not just current muscle cars and stuff like that. So uh, when you look around at a show like today, uh, do you have the ability to look at it and say, okay, that is going to be a classic? You know, it's going to take me 30 years, but that is going to be the kind of car that lives that yeah, long? you know, I think so. I mean, the styling of these cars is the thing that always made an impression on me. When I was 10 years old, that split window 63 Corvette came out. Right, right. I was already a car kid, but that's the thing that just hooked me. Yeah. And, and you have one of those, by I the do. way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gosh, I tried to find the best one I could in the country, yeah. and uh, I don't drive very often, but um, it's just drop-dead gorgeous. If ever I'm feeling a little low, I go out and take a look at that car, and it changes my mood immediately. But it, it's the style. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at the back of that car with a split window and all the stuff going on, it's 
and that's what I see in a lot of these cars. Uh, that Buick, I haven't seen it in person that yet. Vista? That Vista? Yeah, my yeah, it's, gosh. It's, it's almost over your shoulder right there. I, I saw some pictures on yeah. Twitter. and My yeah. gosh, it was beautiful. Well, as soon so, as you leave here, you can go and take a look at it. That, that, that thing is getting such a buzz, and I'm still amazed, and I've said this many, many times on this particular webcast, but you know, why doesn't Buick just say, okay, everybody loves a car, let's just make it? Yeah, I know. I, I was listening to a radio guy trying to get uh, Mark Rice to say, you know, <laughs> you're going to build it. He was still has it, but I... It's gotten some real good reviews. I got to believe they're going to build that one. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen a person yet who hasn't been blown away by that particular yeah. vehicle. I, I, you know, I guess they've got the right color on it and everything else. So yeah. I'm anxious to look it over. So, um, I had a question. Oh, oh uh, um, I, I wanted to ask you about this because we got a little extra time. I was sure. over your shop I, and you weren't there. I, I took a, a friend by a couple weeks ago to, to show him your collection. Good. You have that new Ferrari. L for, is that La, La Ferrari. Ferrari. La the Ferrari. La Ferrari Ferrari. Yeah. Tell me about that car. Well, I tell you what, um, it's the latest and greatest. It's like, you know, the Enzo was there before, and right. this is like the new Enzo of the day. Ferrari went out and they chose who were going to get those cars. You could have been the richest sheik in Dubai, and if Ferrari didn't want you to have one, you weren't going to get it. That had to be so. a blow if you're, if, you're, if you're that guy. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, pretty different than the norm, but... Uh, but it's an amazing car, and uh, you know it gets a lot of attention. You know, Stephen, we do charity fundraisers oh, yeah, at yeah, the collection, yeah. so having that car there has been a nice draw to get people to attend and come through the collection, and uh, you know, hopefully donate now, you know, now a lot you, to charity. So. You've actually, I, I assume, you've gotten to drive it since you oh, yeah. wrote the check for the thing. So yeah, it's kind of interesting because I I had to take it to the dealer here not all that long ago just for some updates and. Uh, I got in it and I got a call from my wife while I'm out and about and within 15 minutes on the road there were pictures of me driving the car <laughs> on the highway so it's not the kind of car you just take out in the middle of the afternoon. You can't be anonymous. No, because everybody's got a cell phone camera yeah. and a, a video camera and you know they've got you and, and it's almost a little dangerous because they're all trying to take pictures and drive. Oh, so. yeah, well, I, I, I took a ride with you. You drove me around in your uh, Bugatti Veyron a couple yeah. of years ago, which yeah. is another phenomenal automobile. Yeah, and that was fun, wasn't it? It was a great yeah. time. And people would just pull up and they're just looking. Right. They just, and people were snapping pictures of it and stuff like that. But, sure. but that Ferrari, so, so I, I've got to get back because you glossed over this right here, but the richest shake on earth may not get the call from Ferrari that we want you to have this car. Ken Lingenfelter did. Yeah, I wish I knew the criteria for the choice. But they to be called honest. you. They did, and you know, uh, I think they're pretty proud of the fact that I'm a big Ferrari guy. I've got yeah. a lot of Ferraris in the collection, and the fact is, I think the car gets put to good use because, uh, like I said, we do a lot of yeah, charity a lot of work for the it. collection, so it gets a lot of exposure. What, was there ever any thought? Because this thing is, what's it like, one point? Four million or something like uh, that, even a little more, or a little one point yeah. six million, yeah, something in the neighborhood yeah, like that. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's got to be, and you can't turn them down because if you turn them down, they may never call you again. I don't think they would call you again. Um, and the thing is that it took a little jingle out of my pocket. There's a lot <laughs> of cars imagine. out there that I uh, that I'd like to buy, but uh, but that one, uh, that one is like the ultimate. I think there's, you know, competing brands have got some really great cars too. Porsche's got that nine eighteen out there, and yeah. McLaren's got an amazing car out there, and. I don't know, I hope maybe one of those days we'll have all of them, but uh, yeah, exactly. I'm working as hard as I can right now. Well, there you go, you know, if you win that uh, Powerball this uh, this week, you know, you can I've go ahead and tickets. get yourself a, a few more of those right there. I, Steven, I've never bought a ticket before, <laughs> but I bought a ticket for that, and I'm gonna buy one for Wednesday. So. Isn't it amazing? 